Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to guide you through preparing for an interview for the position of an administrative assistant at the NHS. We'll explore 20 crucial interview questions along with sample answers to help you shine in your interview. Let's jump right in. Question 1. Can you describe what you believe the role of an administrative assistant in the NHS entails? Sample answer. The role involves providing essential administrative and secretarial support across various departments. This includes managing correspondence, organizing meetings, maintaining records, and ensuring the smooth and efficient operation of the service or team. Question 2. How do you manage and prioritize your workload effectively? Sample answer. I prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance, aligning them with the department's objectives. I use tools like digital calendars and task lists to stay organized and ensure that high-priority tasks are completed first. Question 3. What motivates you to work in the NHS? Sample answer. I am motivated by the opportunity to contribute to a system that provides vital healthcare services to the community. The values and impact of the NHS align with my desire to make a meaningful difference. Question 4. How do you handle the reception area, especially during busy times? Sample answer. I maintain a welcoming and organized reception area, prioritize tasks, and manage visitor flow efficiently. I ensure that each visitor is acknowledged and assisted promptly. Question 5. What strategies do you use to maintain patient confidentiality? Sample answer. I strictly adhere to NHS confidentiality policies, ensuring that all patient information is stored securely and only shared with authorized personnel. Regular training on data protection enhances my awareness and compliance. Question 6. How do you ensure high standards of customer service when dealing with patients or visitors? Sample answer. By listening attentively, responding empathetically, and providing accurate information or assistance promptly. Ensuring every interaction is respectful and understanding their needs is crucial for high-quality service. Question 7. Describe your experience with using IT and office software in a professional setting. Sample answer. I am proficient in a range of IT software, including MS Office Suite, email platforms, and patient management systems. I regularly update my skills through training and self-learning. Question 8. Can you explain how you would handle receiving a complaint from a patient or visitor? Sample answer. I would listen carefully to their complaint, apologize for any inconvenience caused, and take detailed notes. I would then follow the NHS complaints procedure to ensure it is addressed promptly and effectively. Question 9. How do you handle difficult situations, such as dealing with an upset visitor or patient? Sample answer. I remain calm and empathetic, listening actively to their concerns. I then provide information or assistance as appropriate or escalate the situation to a senior staff member if necessary. Question 10. How do you ensure accuracy in your work, especially when under pressure? Sample answer. I focus on maintaining a high level of attention to detail, double-checking my work, and organizing tasks to manage time efficiently. I also take short breaks to clear my mind, ensuring I maintain accuracy. Question 11. How do you approach learning new software or systems in a professional setting? Sample answer. I approach learning new software with enthusiasm and a proactive mindset. I utilize available resources, such as tutorials and help guides, and am not afraid to ask for help or clarification to ensure I can use new tools effectively and efficiently. Question 12. Can you talk about a time when you went above and beyond for a patient or colleague? Sample answer. I recall a time when a colleague was overwhelmed with their workload due to an upcoming deadline. I offered to stay late and assist them with their tasks, ensuring the deadline was met without compromising the quality of our work. Question 13. How do you handle repetitive tasks while ensuring high levels of accuracy? Sample answer. 
To maintain accuracy in repetitive tasks, I create a routine and checklist to ensure each step is completed correctly. I also take short breaks to stay focused and refreshed, helping to avoid errors. Question 14. What steps do you take to protect sensitive information when communicating via email? Sample answer. When communicating sensitive information via email, I ensure the use of secure, encrypted email systems, verify the recipient's identity, and follow NHS guidelines on sharing confidential information to prevent data breaches. Question 15. How would you handle a situation where you are unable to answer a patient's or visitor's question? Sample answer. If I'm unable to answer a question, I would acknowledge the query, explain that I need to consult a colleague or supervisor for the correct information, and ensure the individual receives a prompt and accurate response. Question 16. How do you approach working with colleagues from diverse backgrounds and with different working styles? Sample answer. I value diversity as a strength that brings different perspectives and ideas. I approach working with everyone with openness, respect, and adaptability, finding common ground and ways to complement each other's working styles for the team's success. Question 17. How do you handle feedback, especially if it's critical? Sample answer. I view feedback as a valuable opportunity for growth. When receiving critical feedback, I listen carefully, ask questions for clarification, and reflect on how I can improve. I then create a plan to address the feedback constructively. Question 18. How do you ensure that you are adhering to health and safety guidelines in the workplace? Sample answer. I ensure adherence to health and safety guidelines by staying updated with the latest regulations, participating in relevant training, and applying best practices in daily tasks. I also contribute to a culture of safety by reporting potential hazards and participating in safety audits. Question 19. Where do you see yourself in five years, and how does this role fit into your career goals? Sample answer. In five years, I see myself in a senior administrative position, possibly specializing in healthcare management. This role is a crucial step towards that goal, offering me the opportunity to deepen my understanding of NHS operations, develop my skills in a dynamic environment, and contribute meaningfully to patient care and team efficiency. Question 20. What are your expectations for professional development within the NHS? Sample answer. I expect the NHS to offer a supportive environment for continuous learning and career progression. I look forward to taking advantage of training programs, mentorship opportunities, and the chance to work across different departments to broaden my experience and skills. Thank you for watching. These questions and answers should give you a solid foundation for your NHS Administrative Assistant interview. Remember, preparation and practice are key. Good luck, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful interview tips and strategies. See you in the next video.